As we begin reading and studying Shakespeare in his play Hamlet, you're going to hear the term tragic hero quite a bit. But what exactly is a tragic hero? There are specific characteristics or qualities that are present in tragic heroes, and this is what we're going to explore here quick like. Aristotle once said, a man cannot become a hero until he can see the root of his own downfall. So a tragic hero is a man of noble stature or nobility. He's not just an ordinary man, but a man with outstanding quality and greatness about him. His own destruction is for a greater cause or a greater principle. And so what are the characteristics of a tragic hero? Well, they're born of nobility. Typically they're a king or a member of some royal family. And they're someone that normal people like you and I would look up to or admire. They have outstanding qualities about them. They do, however, possess a fatal flaw, and this is also called hamartia. Traditional fatal flaw is hubris, and that means excessive pride. And the fall ultimately leads to the, down, or to the hero's downfall and often death. Now, the fate is controlled by flaw. First, enjoys the, they enjoy the privileged life. Remember, they're born of nobility. And then the flaw causes a reversal of fortune, which is called peripatia. The ultimate fate is the downfall, and that's oftentimes death. And then the downfall seems even more impressive due to the fall from that noble position that they first started from. They must be physically or spiritually wounded by some sort of experience. So they may be injured or may have suffered great losses of a family or of a fortune. And their wounds oftentimes are not entirely deserved. The downfall or death is usually seen as a waste of human potential. They could have done so much more. They had so much more going for them. And the suffering as always has a greater meaning, often relating back to the flaw. Now, they bear no responsibility for the flaw, only for the actions that are influenced by that flaw. So the actions result in an increase of self-awareness and self-knowledge. The fate is discovered by his own actions and not things that happening to, that happen to him. And the downfall is a result of free choice. So they are imperfect despite, despite being of noble nature. They have outstanding qualities of greatness, but the audience still has to be able to identify with them. Are you perfect? Of course not. So you're going to relate better to somebody who doesn't come off as being perfect. Without the imperfections, the downfall would seem to be improbable or caused by fate only. And then the downfall arises or arouses pity or fear. The audience feels pity for the hero because the flaw is not his own fault. So the downfall seems undeserved. As a result, the audience feels fear because they can identify with the, with the hero's thoughts and actions. Like, wait, could this happen to me?